Am I comfortable with my sinful way of life? My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ During the time of Jesus it was the custom that when a rabbi was at meal in the house all kinds of people were quite free to come and listen to the purse which fell from rabbi's lips Jesus also in his time was a well known rabbi and he was invited by Simon the Pharisee for a meal this invitation could have been because of two reasons either he wanted to trap jesus by his words and action or being a good pharisee he wanted to hear jesus's precious words meanwhile the woman in today's gospel who led a bad life no doubt knew about jesus's mercy towards sinners in order to receive forgiveness and love She came to Jesus in Simon's house. She approached Jesus with a contrite heart and she was full of love for the Lord. Hence, she expressed her love in actions namely, she washed his feet with her tears, she wiped his feet with her hair, she anointed his feet with perfume oil, and she kissed his feet repeatedly. There are differences in attitude of Simon and the sinful woman. Simon thought of himself as a good man in the sight of men and God. He did not respect and honor Jesus by offering to wash his feet or by anointing Jesus or by giving him a kiss of welcome. Therefore, he failed to receive the forgiveness of Jesus. On the other hand, The woman was sincerely repentant and expressed her devotion to Jesus by various acts of love. My dear brothers and sisters, one thing which can take us away from God is self-sufficiency and self-righteousness. Saint Francis of Assisi said, "There is nowhere a more wretched and a more miserable sinner than I." Such a great saint was aware of his sinfulness but a foolish sinner thinks of himself as a saint once sense of need for forgiveness will open the door of the forgiveness of god because god is love and mercy we need to ask this question to ourselves do i need the divine forgiveness in my life or Am I comfortable with my sinful way of life? Dear friends, let us remember one thing that a self-justified life will never lead us to true peace because it never feels the sense of sin and obtain God's forgiveness. It is only when we accept our sinfulness and surrender ourselves to Lord that we receive his peace, mercy, and love like the woman in today's gospel amen